It's all right to me. Oh man, the camera is so dirty the last night at the race. All right, kind of a calm day right today. Not too loud out here, not too much traffic. Gonna get her cleaned up, damage control, body work. I have to fabricate some T-bars. Gotta fix all this down here. Looks like there's got everything kind of disassembled. We lost a piece here. This is all bent up here. So we're gonna have to cut all that out. No, I'll cut it out, unbolt it, make some new stuff. You're looking style in there in, in, your, in your washing gear. It, they got hot quick. Three <laughs> weeks ago, I think it, snowed. Oh, Three or yeah. four weeks ago. No. Weather's, uh, weather's turning for the summer. All reason. right. So we're picking back up where we left off from last week. Been uh, take a few days off, get some R&R. &R. Uh, we did get our front T-bar all finished up. Um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work there still, but I, I like the way we did this new one. And I think this will be our new design style from here on out. It's got the wing up on there. Yep, yeah, this is a good thick wall tubing here. You know, you could do it out of aluminum, but we don't have a TIG welder, and I don't know how to TIG weld. I'm just a MIG welder. It's, like I said, it's amateur hour for welding here at Lake Palmer Garage. Um, we're going to uh, scale our car out. That's the plan for now. We're going to add some ballast to the driver's seat. We're going to bust the scales back out, get them fired up. And uh, we want to see where we're at with our changes we've made. We haven't scaled the car since uh, Race Know How's been here. And we did some changes they recommended, but we didn't see exactly how far we got. So uh, we got a little downtime, so we're going to work on some setup stuff. Uh, once we're done scaling it, we're going to start going back through all of our geometry, making sure we don't have anything that we've missed or anything we feel like we could improve on. And that way we'll have a little bit better setup. It's going to be a little bit faster and make the car go through the turns a little bit better. Come uh, here in a couple weeks. It's cold on this here day in Kentucky. You wouldn't believe it, it was almost 90 degrees about four days ago. I had to turn the furnace on this morning. It was so cold in the house, 64 degrees in the house this morning. Couldn't stand it any longer. Welcome to Kentucky. That's right. If you don't like the weather today, just wait for tomorrow. It's sure to change. Oh, I need another 716. We're taking this carburetor off. We're going to send it off to the legend. We're getting this carburetor redone. We're getting a spare carburetor made. Uh, we don't think there's anything wrong with, with how it was put together. We just think that there's some worn out parts uh, on this particular carb. This, uh, this plate right here, this shaft here, just seems like it is just too loose. I don't feel like it should do that. I think it's just this base plate on this carburetor is wore out. So we're gonna get a new base plate, a couple other things. Ready to rock and roll, there's not even hardly any fuel in there. Perfect. Florence running tonight? No, they canceled. All the local tracks canceled. Oh, they canceled seen... due to the rain from yesterday? Yep. It's went too golfing wet. in? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you went golfing in the rain. Yeah, went golfing in the rain, that was pretty fun. Uh, if we would have stayed at the shop, had a couple of tasty beverages and then went, would have been much better. All right, get the top of the plate there. Yeah. I want to get a new base plate gasket, maybe two new base plate gaskets for this too. When this all goes back. I thought together. we had one. Look good down there. It's all right to me. Very good. All right, all right. Carburetor off, 
locking plate on. Drew and I got our Proform wireless racing scales all hooked up here. Pretty excited about you making some adjustments to the flow racing attitude there. Yeah. So, uh, we bought these Proform scales, I don't know, two, three years ago. These are about the cheapest wireless scales that you can buy. This is what we're currently at, in case you guys were wondering. Yes, our car is overweight. And uh, no, at this point, there's not much we can do about it. it just is what it is. Uh, we like the Proforma scales. I wish the pad was a little bit bigger. Um, they are tapered on each head, so you can roll the car up on there. Although it does take a little bit of uh, finagling to make that work just the way it needs to. Um, let's see here. The other problem we've had with the Proforma scales are the little switches on the circuit boards that turn them on and off. Uh, it seems like over the years they've gotten harder and harder. We've actually had two of the four break. And we just took a little pick down in there and we can move the switch back and forth, back and forth. But um, we're going to start comparing these scale notes to our previous scale session and see where we're at. Check out our percentages and we're going to go from there. We'll check back with you guys if we make any changes. Let's get a little scale update going here. We've got some issues with the car. The car is overweight and we know it's overweight and we know our left side percentage is too much. And we moved our battery from the left side of the car to the right side of the car. Now we went ahead, we went ahead, got ourselves a 56 pound piece of lead and a 26 pound piece of lead. And we've added those two together, which is making our car even more overweight. But you know, we're in this situation now where are we just gonna be overweight and our percentages be wrong or are we gonna work hard to try to get our percentages correct? Uh, right now we're at 2487 and we can run, I don't know, let's go look. I can't remember what the sticker, everywhere is a little bit different, but for generally speaking, 602s is going to be like 2,200 pounds, 2,150. You know, we're way overweight. We're 150, 200 pounds overweight. I don't know. It just is what it is. So uh, here's what our percentages are looking like. In case you guys are wanting to see where we're at compared to where you guys are. We lost a signal there. There we go. That's our front and rear percentage. We're 39.9 and 60% in the back. That's a little heavy in the back because we were working on adding, seeing what it would look like if we added fuel to the car, uh, how much that would change our left side percentage. It certainly added a lot to our rear percentage. We're probably over at that point. And now we got her down to 55.4% left side, 45.5% right side, but at the sacrifice of 60% rear weight. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to run that much fuel in the back. We're going to have to scale that down a little bit, and we're going to figure out if we got the right clamps. We're going to bolt this lead on, and we're going to see uh, when we go racing the, the following week here, uh, whether or not being overweight or having percentages are going to help us out. Time will tell. Stick around. Shoo, got the bright light on. Let you guys check out our lid. We added back there. Oh my gosh, we got a terrible glare. <sighs> I think I got the smudge on there. Let's try that. All right, gang, we got the lid put on there. Let you guys get a good shot of that. That's one piece. We're going to have to put another piece on this bar right here. It's going to be this fella here. We're just short away clamp. I'm going to have to pick us up one from the old mail order catalog. Drew, we're going to be wrapping it up here today. You got anything else you want to say? Kind of wrap up this mini garage episode. Tell them what you're doing next week. Uh, I am going to Florida next week. So no racing a next vacation. week. A little so. vacation. A little vacation. So, well to do. Deserve time off. Again, carburetors off parts. to the legend. You got parts you got to hunt down. Yeah, we're going to have to fix this too. We got some sheet metal work to do. This filler piece is going to probably have to be replaced. Pretty sure we're going to have to make us a new right front fender. I don't think this one here is going to buff out. It doesn't uh, appear like it's going to. We might be able to get it to work for a race. Yeah, we I think ultimately we're going to want to replace it. So, um, other than that, this is going to be a wrap for this garage episode. Uh, a couple more weeks, we'll be back out at the track. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Probably going to be down to about one video a week or so uh, until we get back to the track. Appreciate you guys all. Uh, 
watching our videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. We'd love to hear what everybody has to say. And uh, if you don't like our percentages on our car, let us know what you guys are running. Uh, we'd love to uh, compare and contrast what, what we've done. So thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time.